Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. Personally, I've been doing really well. I haven't had a chance to play a whole lot of RuneScape lately, and that is because a couple days ago I went and got married in real life, so that's a pretty big deal. Everything went really well with that. I actually did record this video about a week ago or so, but I haven't had a chance to narrate it because of things going on in the real world for me. But I noticed the new update, which I haven't had a chance to play much since, with the nerf of both Zora and the Karamja General Store as money-making methods. Now, granted, Zora is still probably going to be about the most consistent money, but uh, it is nice to kind of even it out a little bit and maybe give other money-making methods, which I'm really fond of, and I like kind of making guides and maybe highlighting some things that people may not know of as good money-making methods, but they might now have a chance of being uh, a little more competitive one of those money makers that I've used to generate quite a bit of cash for myself, and I'm going to be showing in this video, is the planting and watering of tree seeds, allowing them to grow into saplings. There's usually a couple thousand coin gap, especially with the higher up tree seeds, in between the price of the seed itself and the price of the grown sapling that is ready to be planted. And this kind of makes sense if you think about it. If somebody who's doing a farming run isn't planning ahead, they want to go ahead and buy those papaya, the palm saplings, and not have to wait. Plant them, water them, and grow just to save, you know, 8 or 10k planting 4 or 5 of them. In order to really be profitable with this, it takes a good bit of time, but most of that is time that you are not actually at the keyboard. So overnight, putting up an offer for a bunch of tree seeds, kind of figuring out how much you can buy them for, picking out your seeds first of all because you want to make sure you find seeds with larger margins. Oftentimes the higher up tree seeds like yews and magics and palms and papaya will have the highest margins. However, the seeds are more expensive. So if you have a limited cash supply, you may want to stick with cheaper seeds like curry that are still used a lot, but are much, much cheaper. And you can do it with a really small amount of cash and then therefore still buy a lot of seeds and make a pretty good profit. So I bought the five different types of tree seeds overnight, curry, pineapple, papaya, maple, and yew. Bought all of the plant pots in pack form from the farming shops. And then make sure it had three watering cans on you when you're doing this. Go ahead and use all of the seeds on the plant pots with a gardening trowel in your inventory. Don't forget that or it will not work. I couldn't figure out how it wasn't working when I first started, but I was missing the lowly trowel. Then you go ahead and water them, and I would recommend doing this in a place that is close to a water source, like the Lumbridge basement. Then it's gonna take a few minutes for them to all grow, so just go ahead and put them in your bank and give it a minute. When you get to the selling point, if you wanna maximize your profit, you don't wanna go for the insta-sell, so find out the highest price you can sell it for, and go ahead and leave them possibly overnight at that price. It shouldn't take that long, at least for me. It maybe took about an hour or so to sell all of them. I pretty much just posted them all for sale and went and did something else. Came back and here they were all sold. So I made a total of 9.5 mil from all of my tree seeds. That sounds like a ton of money, but how much did I spend to start with? Well, if I look back through at what I spent on these seeds, I ended up actually making a total profit of 851k, which was pretty good considering this whole process of actually click intensive work was just over 20 minutes. It was about 22 minutes, so I'm looking at over 2 mil an hour doing this. Now, I don't think 2 mil an hour would be always the case. These prices could fluctuate a lot. However, if you do pay attention to prices and you find one with a pretty decent margin and post an offer overnight, the next morning you should have a good amount of seeds to turn into saplings and sell for a good profit. I think this could be a really good money making method for somebody who doesn't need that money right there but is looking for a way that is kind of efficient in terms of the time that they are actually spending. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I will see you in about a week and a half.